Okay, SQL people, what we're going to look at today is the like statement in a little bit more detail. Um, fundamentally, two things we're going to look at here is the introduction of other wildcard symbols and also some catch-alls that you would have if you wanted to use those symbols within a search. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. Now, what I've got here is a very basic SQL statement. It says select star from suppliers where company name like one, two, three. Now, I've put the percentage symbol to the left and to the right, so I just want anything within that string where 123 is present and as a result I have these two records back as you can see 123 and ABC underscore 1234. Now that's great. Now what if I wanted to search for a um, number of characters only? Now at first you may be thinking why would I want to do this? Um, give you examples, um, postcodes, zip codes. You may want to look for the first two particular characters like WA but then you're not sure what the remainder of the number is going to be but you just wanted to show um, the rest of it. Well you could use the percentage symbol or you could use wildcards if you wanted to tailor it to say I only want to see X number of characters. So let's give you an example of this. Um, the company name here of 123. Let's say I wanted to look for companies which only have three characters in the name. Well what I could do is go over here and use this particular statement which has a like but as you can see this line. Now that line is actually a series of underscores. Three to be precise. One, two, three. And if I run that what you'll find is it will return back one record because there's only one company in a suppliers table which has three characters to its name. Now we could go a little bit further, for example this one here. We may want to look for anyone called Michael but with how many characters there's? One, two, three, four, five, five characters surname. So what we can do is just, um, if I just copy and paste this is probably going to be quicker for this video. Um, change it from company name to contact name. And I'm going to change this and put in Michael space and as we said it was five so one two three four five and it would help if I spelt Michael correctly so let me just fix that now let's run this and see what happens and there we go we get this one record back now watch what happens if I just take off one of those underscores I should get no records returning because there is nobody with a surname with four characters at the end for um, their surname so I'll just put that underscore back in and there we go. Now, here comes the rub. You have now got these two wonderful symbols to look at when um, searching for information, the percent and the underscore. But what if what you're looking for includes those symbols? Now, let's give you an example. If I jump back to the original um, screen again and just execute that, you'll see this one here, the company name has ABC underscore 1234. So, I want to potentially look for any companies with an underscore in its name. Now this now causes us a problem because as we go back to this one, the underscore as you can see is used as a wildcard. So how the heck can I actually use these symbols which are used as wildcards inside a wildcard search? Well this is where it may get a little bit mind-bending but I'll try and explain it to you. Um, I have the solution on this final screen here. So we've got select star from suppliers again, the company name, but as you can see I've got this percent exclamation point underscore percent and then I've got this escape part. I'll explain it in more detail, but first of all, let's just make sure this works. So if I just execute this, there you go, I've got this ABC coming back. What am I doing? Well, the like statement is composed as normal to start with. We have the percent symbol. We also have the percent symbol at the end. The matter of fact here is this part. The exclamation point and underscore. Exclamation point is a symbol that I've elected to use to say the following symbol is not going to be used as a wildcard entry. And the way we tell it to do that is by putting in this final keyword of escape. And we say escape, ignore this exclamation point. So in all intents and purposes, what we're telling it to do is cheat. We're saying, OK, we've got this particular wildcard symbol, but using it with the exclamation point in front will then allow us to use it as a particular piece of text. So all in all, all together, we don't need the semicolon at the end, but if I just execute it, you'll see now you can use the particular symbols that you may want to use in underscores. Now, you could be thinking, where am I going to use this 
is this actually applicable? Well, it is if you start becoming more and more in depth with um, SQL. Specifically, the areas where underscores will be prevalent is going to be when you look at um, servers such as um, the um, database server of um, reporting services. Uh, reporting services will have lots and lots of symbols within here. The reason being is the majority of it is going to be GUID related, um, um, so that's a globally unique identifier, um, and there's all sorts of different kinds of funky little um, numerical structures that Microsoft use which would have particular symbols inside them. You may say well I'm not going to look at report service so it's not a problem. The other area where you will come across them will be inside the system databases such as um, master model and temp DB and MSDB I should say. Also inside each of your specific databases don't forget you have the system tables um, and the system tables generally will have things like um, what fields are in each table and, and the basic structure the schema of the database. So if you are going to start using um, the database to full advantage you are going to need to watch out for these particular symbols. So it is quite a short video but I hopefully this will actually allow Allow you to start searching for some more um, complex or challenging, I should say, um, text within your database. Thanks for watching.